Hello, I'm Nick Crusco. I'm accompanied by Tom, Thomas, Justin, Brian, Alexis, and we're led by AV. Together, we make up Dream Incorporated. For our project, we chose Jay-Z to be our musical artist. We chose Jay-Z for multiple reasons, including that he's a very popular musician, known worldwide, with many platinum albums and many hits. In our presentation, we'll go over his five characteristics of success, which will prove his longevity in the music industry. They are him in music, music production with his own labels, his involvement in personal businesses, his sports involvement, and his personal philanthropy charity events. We'll be passing it on to Justin, who will talk about musical influence and the music industry. Thank you, Nick. My name is Justin Colon, and I'm going to be talking about Jay-Z's impact on hip-hop and how he's truly separated himself from other artists. First, we'll begin talking about Jay-Z in the music industry. Dating back to his first album in 1996, Jay-Z has sold 75 million records. Also, Jay-Z has nine platinum albums since 2000 and has 15 platinum albums total. Jay-Z is also the third best-selling rapper of all time. Lastly, Jay-Z has the most number one albums by a solo artist and is second only behind the Beatles in the most number one albums ever. As we move to music production, Jay-Z has a uh, record label by the name of Rock Nation. Rock Nation has many talented artists including Kanye West, J. Cole, and Rihanna. Jay-Z and Kanye West recently made an album by the name of Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne ended up winning three Grammys. Also, J. Cole, who is considered to be Jay-Z's prodigy, recently, recently released an album by the name of Born Center. And Born Center was very successful and it, it reached the top 200 on Billboard. Jay-Z is also the executive producer of The Great Gatsby, which featured Leonardo DiCaprio. Additionally, he was executive producer of NBA 2K13, which is a very popular video game. Lastly, Jay-Z was voted both by, MC, or by MTV and Billboard Records as the top MC of all time. Moving on to the next slide, you can see Jay-Z has the most Grammys of all time, or excuse me, has the most Grammys since 2010. Jay-Z has, also has 19 Grammys total. Since 2010, he has the most Grammys amongst rappers and musical artists. On to the next slide. Jay-Z and Samsung originally had a uh, venture in which both sides are going to create a music streaming application similar to that of Pandora and Spotify. This is very beneficial because recently CD sales have plummeted and digital album sales have skyrocketed. With this, Jay-Z will continue his growth in the music industry and continue to have a lasting influence. As you can see, Jay-Z is a very accomplished artist and has many years to come of influence in the music industry. I'd now like to pass it on to Alexis, who's going to talk more about Jay-Z's music influence. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. My name is Alexis Centron, and I'll be talking about Jay-Z's influence. Jay-Z has such a diverse background in the music industry due to his collaborations with many artists like Linkin Park and Lenny Kravitz. And it's due to those collaborations that events like Made in America are so popular. Artists of different genres want to work with Jay-Z and want to participate in events like Made in America, and that's how his influence only becomes greater. Not only that, but also his marriage to Beyonce makes him and her one of the most powerful couples in the whole world as well as in the music industry. In the music industry, they're very powerful because they have concerts together that collaborate into a charity, and part of the revenue goes towards that greater charity for a greater good. Not only in the music industry, but politically, Jay-Z has a very, a very big impact. In the presidential election in 2008, he supported President Obama by posting campaign ads and commercials on his behalf to support President Obama. But not only politically and in the music industry, he's also very impactful and influential in the business industry. So I'll turn it over to Tom to explain more about that. Thanks, Alexis. Hi, I'm Tom Kenny, and I'll be, I'll be discussing Jay-Z's business ventures. Now, Jay-Z is undeniably one of the most famous rappers in hip-hop history. Not only has he produced Grammy-winning and influential music, but he's also spent much of his time as an entrepreneur and a philanthropist. Live Nation is a prime example. Live Nation is a California-based company that, focus primarily, that focuses primarily on concert promotions. As such, in 2010, Jay-Z, alongside his company Rock Nation, which is a record deal in itself, signed a lucrative 10-year, $150 million partnership with Live Nation. 
Live Nation also graciously offered Jay-Z $25 million in cash just to help aid Jay-Z and his company, Rock Nation. Now, Jay-Z Jay has been doing business since 1995. That's when, in New York, he discovered RockAware. RockAware is Jay-Z's urban clothing company. When he created the company, there was co-founder Damon Dash. Jay-Z eventually bought out uh, Dash's 25% stake worth $30 million in the company. So Jay-Z made an acquisition. So he took full ownership of the company. Jay-Z single-handedly created a global campaign that combined mar the marketing of music, apparel, and culture until 2007 when he sold RockAware for a $204 million cash deal. Now Jay-Z in 2012 took a more technological approach. Jay-Z became the producer of the video game, the platform video game NBA 2K13, which is about a very popular sports franchise, the NBA, basketball. Jay-Z was uh, credited for crafting the idea or the overall feel of the game. As such, he implemented his soundtrack, which in, in the end is responsible for the overall feel of the game. The game sold 4.5 million copies, which is a franchise record, and sold 49% more worldwide than, his pre than the previous record holder, NBA 2011. Now Jay-Z, he's a philanthropist, he's an entrepreneur, he's an American rapper. Jay-Z tends to, tends to stray away from other hip-hop artists in the sense that he takes a numerous business approaches that many hip-hop artists nowadays do not. I'd like to hand this off to my colleague, Brian, who will discuss more about Jay-Z's charitable causes. Thanks. Thank you, Thomas. My name is Brian Clay. Jay-Z's music career started in the late 80s, and he's been one of the most popular and influential artists ever since. He's been able to sustain a good image in the media for all those years. One of these reasons is his charity work. Jay-Z's charity work is a main part of why he's been able to stay relevant, and it's caused positive exposure for his career. Jay-Z supports causes such as disaster relief, poverty, water shortage, and education. Specifically, Jay-Z contributes to these charities. Artists for Peace and Justice, which helps communities in Haiti through programs of education and healthcare. American Red Cross, which is a humanitarian organization that provides disaster relief. And the Sean Carter Foundation, which is Jay-Z's own charity that aims to help individuals facing economic hardships achieve higher education. Over 2.9 million has supported this foundation. He also supports the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Broadway Cares slash Equity Fights AIDS, and Music for Relief. Along with contributing to these charities, Jay-Z has taken several charitable actions. He has donated a million dollars to the Hurricane Katrina Relief. He also raised over $250,000 in a concert to help fund Play Pumps International a charity that helps bring water systems to rural African areas. And a future action he will take is donating part of each ticket sale of his upcoming tour, On the Run, Beyonce and Jay-Z, to the Sean Carter Foundation. Jay-Z is involved with many charities, and the positive public attention he receives helps to keep him relevant in pop culture. Many sponsorships require morality clauses, and Jay-Z's constant positive exposure will open up new opportunities for him. Clearly, this exposure will allow Jay-Z to remain a star in the music industry for years to come. And now, Thomas will continue with sports. Thank you, Brian. I'm Thomas, and I'm going to talk about how Jay-Z did what every major millionaire and billionaire in America plans on doing. First, you have to spend that money on a sports franchise. Jay-Z's first opportunity came when he had the opportunity to buy Arsenal Football Club, which was a British Premier League soccer team. He turned down that offer in favor to buy the NBA franchise, what was then called the New Jersey Nets, which he moved to Brooklyn. He later sold the Nets for $1.5 million so he can start his next venture of a sports agency. He founded Rock Nation Sports. This represents top athletes in the NFL, MLB, and NBA. These athletes would include Kevin Durant, last year's NBA MVP, Robinson Cano, the highest paid second baseman in all of Major League Baseball, and Dom Kasu, defensive standout for the Detroit Lions, and Skyward Diggins, one of the top stars of the WNBA. 
what he does for these athletes is he negotiates their contracts with the sports teams that they play for and possible endorsement deals with companies such as Under Armour and Nike. He is moving this industry into the future by representing college athletes. His most recent one to sign is Brett Hunley, Heisman candidate and all-star quarterback from UCLA. Thank you. And here's Nick on the conclusion. Based on our findings and our research, we think Jay-Z will be a long-lasting musician for the following. His involvement in music, the music industry, his participation in business, sports, and charity. He's been a lasting musician for the past 20 years and will continue to make great music and be a lasting influence in the music industry for the years to come. Thank you for watching.